So, hello everybody. I'm, I'm Marcus uh, and I'm Managing Director and Founder of Angena. And uh, I've chosen this small video in the beginning and the title um, of the accelerating of the network transformation because I think you have heard a lot about the hype cycle about SD-WAN, NFV and that there is some more, I would say, rational uh, understanding about what it really means to implement it. So what I would love to do is to talk about how we at Dengena have approached it and why we believe that an, as a managed approach and a significant simplification of the quite complex, typically project-oriented implementation, at least if it comes to mid-sized to larger networks, is absolutely necessary to have a successful deployment of SD-WAN for business customers or enterprise customers. So that is what it's all about. And having said that, let me get into it. What, what is Jenna really? And it is, in essence, built around three major um, cornerstones. Jenna itself is meant to provide enterprise or business grade SD-WAN networks for business and enterprise customers. It's a global platform which allows you to configure and deliver this kind of services with a hybrid network approach. So all the services are available and run on private links as well as on public internet links. And what is very specific with Engena is the business model we have chosen. I will explain that in, in more detail in a few minutes. But just um, as, a, as a starting point, it's a wholesale approach where we work with, with partners who sell this type of services to their customers. Now, what are the three key building blocks of what Jenner is made of? First of all, we are using um, a Cisco technology for providing SD-WAN services. It's a classical Cisco Web Taylor technology, is nothing specific from that point of view. What we use next to that one is a bunch of further service elements, VNFs, providing additional services in the area of um, application acceleration, in the area of security, and in some others. So we have put together this technology components to have a globally available service platform which allows you to get or as a business customer to, to be deployed an SD-WAN service with additional services being around it. Um, the service platform itself from a technology point of view is a completely virtualized platform. So more or less everything is built on a standard IT infrastructure and is completely NFV based, meaning all telco functions, routing, switching, firewall, optimization, and so on, are just residing as software packages on that globally um, distributed virtualized platform. So very much what we are talking here at this event about is implemented in the way how, how we did it. Um, secondly, talking about networks is not about talking only about the platform providing the service itself, you finally also need to connect the endpoints. So we like to call it it's the underlay stuff. So the service platform itself, we often refer to as an overlay service, but the underlay, of course, needs to be there as well. Many customers, of course, want to get underlay and overlay as a combined end-to-end -end service. So we have formed an alliance of leading telecommunication companies, which are part of what we call the Jenna Alliance, which allows us to get access to their access and aggre aggregation networks so that we finally can turn their local network assets into a consistent SD-WAN overlay service. So we have partners, you will see it on the next slide, who is part of it, who allows us to have this capability. We connect the networks to the global platform. We have combined it in an end-to-end -end approach and we can provide a hybrid network consistently with underlay and overlay more or less to any endpoint around the world. 
So this is about how we work with partners on the, um, I would say, um, network side on the uh, providing the connectivity. There's another important part, it's a third cornerstone, it's about the distribution. I already mentioned that we are in that sense a wholesale approach, a service provider for service provider. This means the distribution, the access of getting access to the Jenna services is also via our partner. So in essence, Jenna is very much an ecosystem oriented model from the sourcing, from the connectivity, as well as from the distribution model. So the partners get access to that platform and can use the services to build for their customers the enterprise network networks based on a multitude of services which they choose from our service catalog. So it's our partners selling into the market and Jenna is providing them in having or giving them the access to the platform and to all our business um, supporting systems and the global service catalog, the capability to design, to deliver, to maintain the solutions, the enterprise networks for their customers. So we are 100% in that sense indirect model if it comes to distribution. We only work with partners which has the capabilities to serve their customers. So these are the three key building blocks of our business model. If you look now into how it is deployed, um, we have done a global rollout already. So Jenna is now a little bit more than three years old and uh, we have deployed our platform in a bunch of data centers around the world and the green dots uh, shows you the data centers we have uh, implemented our platform as already mentioned it's a standard IT infrastructure there which is OpenStack based and there's a completely virtualized IT platform running there at each of the data centers we connect into the um, network platforms of our partners, our alliance partners, how we call them, you find many of them on the right hand side um, of, the, of the slide. Um, if we connect into the network platforms, I always refer to the connection of the IP platforms as well as into the private platforms which are typically Ethernet based, either point to multipoint or VPLS ELAN platforms of our partners. The links you find as lines here on that slide is our private and by Jenna managed um, backbone network connecting um, our data centers. Um, and we also collect all public internet traffic at our hubs and we use for the long distance across Atlantic, Pacific and so on our own backbone to ensure proper quality levels. So the backbone is managed by ourselves and we use that for traffic optimization between our hubs. So that is the basic architecture we use on that global platform. If I refer to the global platform, I always refer to the combination of the data center and the um, backbone. From an architectural point of view, the Jenna approach has a, has a tour tier model one tier is our central global platform, which you find here, and the second tier is the CPE at the customer site. So we provide the CPE and then we manage the service from any CPE of a customer to any other CPE via our global platform and including the global backbone. So we have a two tier approach and therefore we can manage the service really end to end on a global scale and ensuring the respective service service quality and the way how we distribute services. If you uh, want to have a little bit deeper look into how the platform really is built and, and what are the components of the platform. And I think if you compare us with a lot of other providers around uh, in the market, I think the big difference really is it is a fully integrated end-to-end -end approach. 
So from the CRM system down to the configuration of the CPE, we have built an end-to-end -end technology stack, which is fully automated and in essence is using a consistent set of information, data models, which are fueling not just the definition on the service level, on the global, on the global product catalog and the solution designer, but at the same time is used to also provide the configurations on the CPE. And this makes us very different because it allows us this consistency and the end-to-end -end design to have a truly end-to-end -end automation and after you do, did some kind of configuration on a, on a portal, there is no engineer, no manual effort anymore to ensure the deployment, but also later on the change management on that global platform for global networks. So if I walk you step by step quickly through the stack, so there is a BSS, a complete set of BSS, OSS modules um, being part of our platform. As I already mentioned, the CRM system, the global service or product catalog, there's a billing system, there is a full element of the workflows, the next generation service fulfillment elements, but we also have closed the loops. There is a complete set of assurance services also, so the next generation service assurance module as well. After that, we go to what we call a multi-layer service orchestration. So the output of this IT stack, OSS, BSS, is after you did the design for a customer using our solution designer, is a global service model. This service model in being handed over to the orchestration stack, which is multi-layer, is then translated to a global network model via the data models we have implemented. This is a global view on how the network should run on the platform. And then the specific elements are pushed to the different data centers. We call it hubs. And there is what we call a hardware abstraction, which translates the information into the real configurations for all virtualized and physical devices. Virtualized is the ones which are run on the app. The physical ones are the CPs. So you have on top and, and then, typically you only from an architecture stack have the real controllers for the sd -WAN. So we have three layers of orchestrators on top of um, the sd -WAN controller. If you ask me why we did that, it is to make it simple to use, because if you want to implement an sd -WAN network with a more complex topology and a set of services, you really need to understand how to enter hundreds of policies and how to translate the customer intent into this kind of local and global policies. Very complex. And this multi-layer service orchestrations allows us to in a very easy manner collect that information and to translate that into the real configurations of the platform. So this is the way how it works and I talked already, already about the IT infrastructure, the global, uh, global backbone, of course the access links, then of course the maintenance, there's the rollout and the maintenance of the CPEs. And all that is bundled into services which we call access design, which allows you in selecting a single service to get all relevant, more or less, tasks being performed to connect a single site at the customer. So this is more or less giving you some insight in how the platform really works and how it is implemented. Um, that's one uh, brief customer example. And there are some nice works of one of the leaders, uh, Karen, in the, in the IT department of Imperial Brands. It's a project uh, we did together with KPN, so KPN is selling uh, to Imperial Brands. And Karen is describing why she has chosen um, Jenna as a platform. And it is very much about uh, what was discussed here in the event a lot, about how can you make it m easy, how you can make it consistent, how you can really ensure quality of delivery services in this kind of complex environments. So it's very much about 
moving towards an as a service in a standardized and quality managed approach. And this is exactly what the Jenna solution has been designed for and why this degree of simplification and reduction of complexity is really so important. So the difference is not in the technology itself, it's very much in the way how you abstract it, how you simplify it, how you make it available and usable as a service. And this is exactly what customers see and why they have chosen this approach. So I do not uh, want to repeat what I just uh, tried to, to explain to you. I just want to leave that um, as, my, as my last slide and I want to close the talk that I personally truly believe that SD-WAN will be a big advantage or is a big advantage and will be even more big advantage for end customers that we will see a huge uptake if we as an industry understand how we can make the usage, this means the implementation and the configuration of this great technology much more simpler than just providing pure technology or project-oriented approaches to customers. Thanks a lot.